If you are a beginner in VB language or just joined, this video will be interesting for you. I am going to cover the differences between subprocedure and function. Let's check them out. To open the Visual Basic Editor, we click on Alt F11 and here we will start with our sub procedure. We will type sub and then the name of the procedure will be welcome uh, message. And then we click on uh, enter and we see that the sub procedure starts with uh, sub and end, ends with end sub. And here will be our code. And the code will be message box and we can type control space and by this way it will be automatically collected from the library then open parentheses and here we will type our message and let's say it will be hello nice to meet you and uh, close quotation mark and close parenthesis and click on enter and now let's see uh, how it works we need to run uh, the code and to run it we will go to the run button or click on f5 and click on it and here we have the message hello nice to meet you also uh, to run the, uh, the code we can go to developer tab macros and from here we see all our macros in this case we have only one and from here we will run it if you do not have developer tab you need to right click on the ribbon customize the ribbon and here from customize ribbon tab you will go to customize the ribbon main tabs and click on developer and then okay i have it already edited so it will appear here after you will click on it and now uh, one very important thing is when you select the procedure and click on comment block it will be blocked by this uh, single quotation mark before it and when you will run it you will not uh, find any macro recorded because you block it to unblock you will do the same and click on uncomment block and now let's uh, let's see how works the function so we will go back to our visual basic editor vbe alt f11 and here we will start with the function we we'll type function and then we need to type uh, the name of the function and the name of the function will be the name of our formula we will use and it will be let's say achievement And then open parenthesis if we need to type uh, the formula how this function will be calculating so the first will be uh, revenue s double and the second will be target s double as well close parenthesis and click on enter and here we need to write the code of the function and the code the formula will be achievement we start to type it achievement and control space and it collected automatically from the library achievement is equal and how we will calculate it revenue control space divided by target control space and here we have it we will go let's test it to test it, I will split our window. Let me collapse it a little. And here, when I click on equal, I will type achievement. And we have it here in the functions library. So let's see if we will block it. If we will block it, and type here achievement it will not appears you cannot see it here so we will unlock it 
So we will start with achievement. We see it is here and the first argument is the revenue. It will be this one. Then we add comma and the target will be this one. So and the formula how it will work. We established it here revenue divided by target and click on enter and we see that it is uh, 0, comma uh, 50 and if we will change it and put it uh, another one the formula will be changed as well as you can see okay and now the second uh, option of how we can run the function is to call it from sub procedure let's have a look at a simple example and I will type a new function let's name it current date and we do not need here to have uh, any uh, arguments and the formula will be current date control space and we'll select it from our library because we just edited to it it is equal to date and the date is the current date in uh, in vba so let me see how it works. I will go to workbook, type equal and choose our current uh, date from here and select it and type on enter. And it is it's the day of today. But what I would like to change it instead of have having this format, I would like to have only months and year and not the date of today. So to do it, I will add here the format open parenthesis the expression will be date and the format will be our months and then comma and years and then close uh, quotation mark and oh, oops here we do not need comma and close parenthesis and enter and let me see how it works we will type again current date from here choose it and click on enter and as you can see the format is changed automatically accordingly to our uh, statement so what we will do with a procedure we will open a new sheet in this new sheet in a1 we will type automatically monthly balance and the current date how we will do it let's start with uh, a sub procedure let's name it as uh, a new uh, worksheet and click on enter and from here we will uh, open a new worksheet we will type uh, work uh, uh, worksheets uh, control space and we'll choose from the library worksheets and here dot and the action will be at We'll choose from here add and then in the range in the range a1 the value of this range so we choose the value from the library will be equal to our uh, current date by first we would like to add a text the text will be uh, monthly balance space close parenthesis and then with current date control space and we will choose it from here and let's see how it works so we will click on here we are here and now we will open a new worksheet and here automatically uh, type the monthly balance with current date with this format months and year so let me go back to our sub procedure and click on run and we have here a new sheet monthly balance you see here august 2023 and it works so now let's see the differences sub procedure and function was a procedure the difference the first difference here is that the sub procedure take actions and function returns the value and then if we look into our function 
and some procedure that we see that they start and end with the same structure. Sub procedure start with sub and end with end sub and function start with function and ends with end function. They have, can have arguments or cannot have arguments. It is not mandatory. But sub procedure can uh, have a message box and, and, and function cannot have any message box inside of it. The sub procedure can be run uh, via Visual Basic Editor or via macros and function can be run only by two ways via formulas and via the other sub procedure and that's all thank you for watching